that again. Nah, hold up, put your, hold up. Show your little body, 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 body. Show my little body, 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 body. And show you got the body. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I install my lace front wig. This wig is from Hair Sensation. So it is from my hairline um, or my hair company. Um, and it is a, a HD lace. I will not be speeding up this video because this will be an in-depth tutorial. But also, I do not want it to be too, too long. So I won't, the parts that I'm leaving in will not be sped up. And I won't be, what else? I won't be, yo, every time I talk, <laughs> I lose my train of thought. Um, I won't be leaving everything in, but I will leave um you know enough in for you guys to see exactly what i'm what i'm doing um but you know the drill do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post and leave all your comments down below now let's just start okay so starting off this is me struggling with my glue um like always i always do however i'm going to be using the bolt hold active that's the glue that i'll be using for this install and this here was for my birthday um so yeah also guys i do have videos of me doing my ball cap method if you need an updated tutorial then definitely let me know and i will do that for you guys but right now the only thing that I'm doing is pretty much getting the edge of the ball cap to lay flat. You can use this. You can do this with the got to be spray as well. But I just use the glue because more glue will go on top of it. And sometimes when you use the got to be, it kind of leaves the edges looking a little bit white and flaky. And I did not want that. So right now I'm using this part and this is the speed that I'm going. Nothing sped up. This part is pretty much just to get the stocking cap to lay flat Now after that is done what I do next is I go in with my foundation and I pretty much just put it all over my the stocking cap and also inside the wig. So for the makeup part this goes on your stocking cap and also on your wig. Also I don't remember if I put um, the part where I kind of go in with an alcohol wipes. I have wipes that are already alcohol wipes and I just go in to um, pretty much wipe off the excess makeup around the perimeter of my head so wherever that glue was I kind of go in and kind of clean it off a bit so the foundation goes on your stocking cap and also on the wig cap as well okay so for every install that I do, I always go in with the wig at first and I pretty much measure it on my head and then cut it um, to the size of my head. So I make sure to measure it and cut off the ears first because that's where you have to cut to make sure it fits the perimeter of your head. Um, but yes, Right here, a little bit of makeup got on right there, but I'm just using my alcohol wipe to take it off. That can fix regardless of whatever you do. Everything can fix. <laughs> okay, so yes, I'm basically just going to go ahead and measure the um, wig on my, um, on my head and then cut off the excess lace. Now with my hair pinned back, 
all I'm doing is just taking out the part that I will be cutting off and this is how the scissors is positioned and I pretty much just go ahead and cut it off to make sure my ears fit properly on both sides so that is all I'm doing right now just cutting off the excess and I, the same thing I did on that side is the same thing I will be doing for the other side so I won't be showing that because that's exactly the same I will be repeating the same steps pretty much now I'm going to be going in with the bolt hold skin protectant um, and I'm just spraying that on the alcohol wipe that I have and I'm cleaning my skin and this is for um, like just in case the glue gets on your skin it's not irritated or get or you get bumps on it because a lot of time when you use the glue regardless of what glue you use well for me it tends to give me bumps sometimes but when I use the skin protecting um, spray then it doesn't really do anything to my skin so that is why I always use it now I'm going to be going in with the glue and this is the layer that I will be using to install the wig so the first layer was to flatten the stocking cap this layer are these last three layers um, will be to install the wig and the size of the glue the amount of glue that i'm putting on is probably one inch so the same size that's how the same size i'm doing right now the thickness of the glue um i don't know if i'm explaining it properly but how um how much glue i put on it is pretty much like this is how much glue i put on it like i don't know if i'm explaining it properly but yes this is exactly what i do and i do this three times um allowing it to dry clear every round so before i go ahead and do the second round i make sure the glue is dried clear first then i go in with the second then it's dry going with the third and then you know i place the wig on my head So now that it is pretty much dried, I know you see a little bit of white um, on it still, but that's fine. Because um, you don't want it, uh, although, yeah, although you want it to be clear, you also don't want the glue to dry too much. And then in that case, when you put it down, you need to attach, you need to put more glue on it, if you get what I'm saying. So you want it to dry clear, but you don't want the stickiness of the glue to dry up because it does happen um and right now all i'm doing is just making sure the hair is out the way so nothing is um nothing is being glued down like i'm combing the hair to make sure the little hairs aren't the flyaways i should say is not all over the place and it's not in the glue and it looks messy and all of that and as you can see i'm pulling the hairline over the glue so it's best you have um extra hairline than having the excess glue in front of the hairline and guys if you realize i'm doing it very slow like i don't rush it i'm not a professional so whenever i want my wigs to come out nice this is the speed that i go at literally the same speed and i use the comb press it in comb it press it in i don't like using my fingers because my fingers tend to smudge it um on my lucky day i can get away with my fingers but today i because it's my birthday i want my hair to look very nice so i use the comb to put it in and the same thing that i did for that side is the same thing i'm doing for this side as well
so with my hair wrapped up i took out my sideburns and after taking out my sideburns um i'm just using the elastic band to help my hair melt even further and then i'll be going in with the blow dryer and i'll be putting it on warm actually i put it on hot <laughs> because i want the glue or the lace to melt down on the glue Now all I'm doing is just removing the elastic band and guys do you realize like HD lace is literally like witchcraft <laughs> like you cannot see anything like while I'm doing it I'm like yo this is witchcraft like I don't care but anyways right now I am going to be cutting off the lace like can somebody tell me like doesn't it not look like I'm cutting myself like I lit it looks like I'm cutting air <laughs> Um, but yeah, right now I'm just using the razor comb and this is not razor comb, the razor blade. And I preferably, I prefer the razor because it, it has like the jagged edges. So when I'm cutting off the lace, it gives that jagged, um, effect. So it doesn't go straight across and it doesn't look too blunt. So this is why I like using the razor to cut it off. And again, this is the speed that I go in. Nothing extra. Um, I don't go too fast. I'm not a professional, so I can't just rip it off like that. Take my time and cut it off. It's too much. Okay, so after doing um cutting off the lace all i did was i used the i forgot to put that part in but i pretty much just went in with the um hot comb to hot comb the top part that's why it looks kind of shiny and kind of flat um and yes guys a hot comb is a key um it's, it is an essential tool to getting your hair flat and getting your wig slid a hot comb is essential let me just say it. start by saying that now I'm going to be doing my baby hairs. Um, at first I was not going to do a baby hair, do any baby hairs because it's an HD lace you can do without it. But the last time I did a straight hair for my birthday, I did not do any baby hair, so I decided to do baby hairs now. And for my baby hairs, this is the same speed. Like I said, I don't do anything too fast. I do it at a speed where i know i won't make any mistakes so i'm trying to make sure i positioned um i try to make sure i position the swoops at the same angle so if it's two inches away from the middle part on the right side i try try keyword try because unless you really go in and measure it it might not come out at the same position but yes, I tried to make it the same position. So if it's one inch from the right, um, I try to make it one inch from the left. Not every time it works, but sometimes it actually come out the same or I think it does. But yes, that is what I'm doing. And I will be doing, um, I will be doing my baby. I will be doing two swoops and then um sideburns so two suits on each side and sideburns i think i might speed this part up a little bit guys um but not too much maybe just you know not too much but um i'm going to be speeding up speeding this part up a little bit because it's just baby hairs unless you guys want an in-depth baby hair tutorial then i can do that but for this part i'm kind of going to speed it up <laughs>
going to leave one in at normal speed guys i feel like i keep going back and forth with what i'm actually going to be doing but i'm going to leave this part at the same speed so you guys can see exactly how i swoop the baby hairs so i use um mousse to do it and the mousse that i use is pretty much the one without alcohol so you can use any mousse as long as it does not have alcohol in it and after i swoop it then i go in with my scissors and then i cut it um yes that's what i did and this is the speed that i go in i don't rush the baby hairs and it's literally the flick of the wrist like whenever you're doing a your baby hairs when you swoop the baby hair the finger that you're using you use your finger um, to mold the hair. So as you can see, every time I do a swoop, I kind of follow up with my finger. So it's actually like being molded. So I swoop and then I use my finger to follow the, the comb or the brush or whatever I'm using to do my baby hairs. And that is literally how I do my baby hair. Guys, you see how slow I'm going? Like, I'm literally going like slow. And even sometimes when i when people might say oh it looks nice after i'm done i'm like mm, i think i could have done something else but yeah i'm going to leave you guys to watch as i do this baby hair and then the next ones i'm actually going to speed up for real so yeah enjoy <laughs> Okay, so now that my baby hairs are done, I go back in with my um, headband. And this time I go for a one. I go, for, I go for a one. What? And this time I use one that is a little bit wider than the first one. That way it covers all my baby hairs and include it covers the baby hairs, the lace, and a little bit of the hair that is going back. Um, and that's how you kind of get the flat front effect. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but yes, I try to use a wider one so it can cover pretty much some of the hair itself, the baby hairs and the lace. And now I'm just going to comb my hair out and flat iron it. Yeah. And then I'll come back when I'm taking, I probably won't show you guys when I'm straightening the hair because it's like straightening the hair. Um, like nothing extra. So I'm going to jump to pretty much where i take off the headband so see you guys so guys do you see the magic like i know my part is lean but don't worry don't worry i'm going to be fixing my part but yeah do you see how flat it is like it's literally so flat and that's just i didn't even i don't think i ended up putting the flat the hot comb in it again um it was just from the first part pretty much but i'm going to fix my part my parting like i realized that it was lean so i was just like mm, no not cute not cute so i will be fixing it right now <laughs>
also guys the trick of over bleaching your hair is using black foundation or not black foundation what the hell using black eyeshadow to get your parting to look looking sleek so yes when i bleach this hair i kind of over bleach it a little bit so the roots were kind of orange i tried using um root dye root dye to cover it but you know it is what it is you can always finesse things so that's why i use um the black eyeshadow to fix it and then i go in with concealer to pretty much um define my part a little bit more even though it looks like it's okay i still want it to be really sleek so yeah And this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something i hope it was useful for somebody um but yeah thank you guys and i will definitely see you guys in my next one again this here is from hair sensation um i have to put this week on the website look it is from hair sensation it is or straight here or silky straight here with an hd lace thank you guys again and i will definitely see you guys in my next video and happy birthday to me this was my birthday this is the same day of my birthday like in the night time so that goes to show i didn't really do anything on the day of my birthday but i'm here and i'm bitches 24 okay thank you guys and i'll definitely see you guys in my next one